LeBron James could win four, five, or six more titles, and he would not pass the greatest player ever in any sport, Michael Jordan, because it's already over, and you need to get way over it. He's already played almost as many games as Jordan did in his entire career. There is no way in hell that LeBron, LeBron James, James will ever, will be, ever the be the guy. I wanna go far, there's no stopping I see them watching, I see them hating One day I swear I'ma be on the station Mama, I gotta make it why we NBA fans need to stop comparing eras. Now, I'm like everybody else. Last year, I was comparing the Warriors to the 72 and 10 Bulls and the most popular one, LeBron James versus Michael Jordan. But I'm here to tell you that there's no right answer. And let me tell you why. Basketball has changed so much since it first started. It's even changed drastically since the last two decades. Back in the 90s, head coach Phil Jackson emulated this offensive scheme called the triangle offense. It was basically an offense that required a lot of ball movements, screens on defenders, and a lot of player rotations that formed a triangle shape that created a high percentage shot for the offense. And Phil Jackson used it for all 11 championships with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, Kobe and Shaq, and Kobe and Pau Gasol. But in today's era, a lot of people think that it's outdated. Even Hall of Fame player Isaiah Thomas said this, if you're not Kobe, Shaq, or Michael Jordan, the triangle offense just doesn't work, basically saying that it's outdated. So look how much an effective offense that almost every single coach tried to steal has basically vanished from the league. The NBA is constantly changing. And you have to remember about seven or eight of those championships that Phil Jackson won using the triangle offense, zone defenses was prohibited from the NBA. So defensive players had to basically chase their guys around. And to be honest, most of the game today is so heavily reliant on the three ball. Have you ever noticed that almost all of the dominant centers in today's era have one thing in common? They usually all can shoot three-pointers that was nowhere near the deal back in the 90s or the 80s and usually when I'm watching the game like if I'm watching the Cavaliers or the Warriors or something like that I don't even see no big men in the paint anymore everybody seems like they're on the perimeter trying to find themselves a three-pointer and the Spurs coach Greg Popovich said it best he said I still hate it I'll never embrace it I don't think it's basketball but that's just me, that's just old school. To a certain degree, you better embrace it or you're going to lose. The game has changed so much. And look at how many three-pointers they were shooting from 1990 to 2005. In 1990, they was only shooting a combined 14 three-pointers a game. In 2005, it climbed all the way up to 32 three-point attempts a game. And now look at it from 2006 to 2016 in 2006 they were shooting about 34 three-pointers combined a game last year they shot 53 three-pointers a game people try to get mad at lebron james because he tries to stretch his game out by shooting three-pointers but how can he not Nowadays, just to keep up with the pace of the game, you have to hit three-pointers. You cannot beat the Warriors if you do not make at least 12 to 13 three-pointers a game. So for people like Skip Bayless getting mad at LeBron James because he shoots a good amount of three-pointers a game in today's era, you can't really get mad. For LeBron's career, he's shooting 34% from the three-point line. Michael Jordan shot 33% from the three-point Point line so LeBron is shooting better and who knows how Michael Jordan would have scored in this era and kept up with the game and if I said something like that to an old head, they're going to reverse it and say, well, back in the 80s and the 90s, they played a very physical style of basketball, and LeBron James cries about fouls in this era. And Michael Jordan was once able to average 37 points per game playing in that tough era, something that I just really can't argue with. But then I can flip it and say, back in the 80s and the 90s, you was not able to play zone defense. You had to play every body man up and imagine trying to stop LeBron James or Russell 
Russell Westbrook one on one. It takes a collective effort to stop those guys. Then I can say look at how much bigger players are today than they were back in the 80s or the 90s. Look at LeBron James at 6'8", damn near 260 pounds coming at you. Look at Russell Westbrook. Imagine Russell Westbrook playing Isaiah Thomas. I just don't know how that stuff would have played out. So basically, I made this video because every single time I turn on ESPN or Fox 1, I hear the same argument, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. And to me, it's legitimate points to both sides, but it's just different eras, so we really don't know. But that's basically the video, guys. Like I said, I should be shamed for it, too, because every time LeBron wins a ring, I always say, so what the LeBron haters and the Jordan lovers going to say now? He got another ring and all this stuff. But, I mean, I just don't think it's fair. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about comparing errors and if you think I made some good points. But if you like the video, like the video. That means so much. Keep subscribing. Guys, we're about at 3,000 subscribers. It means so much to my channel. It means so much to my heart. Thank you, guys. Until next time, guys, stay, stay tone, tone, Jay, Jay. I ain't talking to you, bro. Bitches, I got money now. All a nigga understand is since that check came in, everybody talking like a nigga, acting funny now. That don't matter. All I hear is since that check came in. I love it when you talk to me.